Alright, so hi guys, uh, it's Silver here, and today I'm going to show you guys a little, uh, kind of a neat exploit for the 3DS that allows you to play out of region games. So, here I've got a North American Nintendo 3DS. So, just a normal original 3DS. So, yeah. See, it's North American, it's all in English. So, and then, here I have a copy of Geist Crusher, which is a Japan-only 3DS game. I just recently got this, so I figured I'd give this a shot. So, uh, for those that aren't aware, the 3DS is actually region locked, so games out of region won't actually play. And I'll show you that in a minute. So here's the game card. Now if I open my 3DS, here at the bottom where the game would normally be, there isn't anything there. And that's kind of how the system kind of locks you out. It tries to stop the 3DS from loading any game that's not for the region. But using an exploit designed by, I uh, can't remember his name, but I can force my 3DS into launching the game. And it's actually as simple as going to the download play channel so I'll launch that. Now that the uh, now that's open, I'm gonna hit the home button, and I'm actually gonna go up to the internet browser. Now this comes up. I'm gonna go to bookmarks. Now I've got a bookmark for a page. Now it the page is go dot gateway dash 3ds dot com you go there I've got a bookmark so I'm just gonna open it and give it a second and there we go And there it is. So there it is. Geist Crusher, a Japan-only game running on my North American 3DS. Now, the exploit is called Region 3. And all you need to do for this is to download a file and place it on your 3DS's SD card. Now, one thing you'll need to be careful about is um, do not, if the game supports online, do not connect to their online services using a Japanese game or an out of region game because then Nintendo will catch on that you're playing an out of region game online and your Nintendo ID will probably most likely get banned. So, refrain from doing that. There will be a link in the description below if you want to go download the file. But this only works for actual retail games. So you need a physical game. You can't run a ROM using this. It has to be a physical cartridge. So you need to actually buy your imports. Don't You can't pirate anything. It won't play any ROMs. It won't trick your system into loading any game off the SD card or anything. It just is designed to forcibly launch a game that's plugged in to the card slot, no matter what it is. So, I hope this was a little interesting for you guys. I'm just going to show you that it works real quick. As you can see here, it's Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, the game actually it functions and works as intended. It's not encountering any issues. The only downside is some games, when you press the home button, it'll crash. I'm not going to do it now, obviously, because it will crash my 3DS if I hit the home button. So if it gets to a point like that, where this your system crashes by hitting the home button, then you can exit just by hitting the power button. Hitting it long enough for this to pop up where the software has been closed, and you can safely hit the home button to exit it. And there we go. And I'm back. And that's it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and the link to this will be in the description. And I hope this uh, this helps anyone that was on the fence about importing a system just to play a Japanese game or North American game if you're outside of North America, or so on and so forth. And I think I accidentally launched something. Yeah, so thanks for watching.